Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Pico Paso synthesizer kit that I purchased from Bleep Labs. This is based on an LM324 quad operational amplifier, which you can see here in the middle. Uh, it runs off a 9 volt battery. And the smart thing about this is it doesn't turn on until you actually plug in the jack here for the output, which is a pretty nice feature. And basically this is like a light based theremin, if you will. It does have um, two different oscillators here that you can enable. You can actually use them both at the same time or you can just do one or the other. And depending on which one you push um, will depend on which light sensor up here is being utilized. And they actually did a little bit of a, co a color coding here. So you can see that this green button operates this green light sensor and likewise with the blue one. And then the two knobs, the top one modifies it's the mod knob and then the other one modifies the shape of the actual waveform and if I remember correctly this is one of the chips that they used in the original Atari system to give it its sound effects I could be mistaken but I will put those details in the description below as well as I will put a link to the data sheet well, this is just the front page of it and again I'm not going to go through all this because you can just look at it yourself and mind the snow plows it is a bit of a snowy day here today so without any delay, I'm going to go into this actual unit. Now I do have the battery enabled. If you want for storage, you can actually pop the battery out of this little holder and just turn it around backwards and it'll stay in there. And you don't have to worry about, you know, that extra little current being drawn. Not that there is any, but when I store, I like to keep it that way just, just, just in case. But we do have my little amplifier over here to the corner and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And you can see when I push the button and adjust the shape knob, I can also adjust the, the model here. And like I said, this is light based, so as I tip it towards my light, or use my hand. Here's the other one, which is a higher pitched one. Now, just like the Chaos NAND synthesizer that I reviewed in an earlier video, this doesn't really have any musicality to it. Um, there are other models that they have where you can you know, select notes and do other things with it. And I eventually will get one of those kits. I don't remember what they're called offhand right now, but I will have that in the description below as well. But anyway, the premise of this kit is just, it's a noise maker, it's a fun little gadget to play with. I mean, you can get some pretty cool sounds out of it. Let's see if I put the wolf on. This is one of those ones that drives people nuts too. There you go. Sounds like an old modem dying. Now it'd be kind of fun to get this and the chaos synthesizer going at the same time to really, really drive the noise around. But you could also plug these into different effects, um, like distortion boxes or delays or different things like that. Just a general, you know, guitar effects pedal will work with these. So you can really make some outlandish sounds if you really wanted to. But yeah, there's really not much more to show about this, you know, without going through how it was built, which is. <laughs> Just a bunch of resistors, a couple caps, kind of soldered here in line next to the IC chip, which is sitting on a socket. So yeah, it was a really easy kit to build. Wasn't a whole lot of money, if I remember correctly. Um, I do like the black circuit board in this particular instance because it does look really nice on here. And um, I'm actually just using a RCA to quarter inch adapter here, since I don't actually have any quarter inch wires. I used to do a lot of music production and I used to be a DJ back in the day and kind of got out of all that and sold my equipment uh, just all in one one fell swoop so without all the wiring I had I sold too 
And, yeah, you know, you still have any uses for that stuff. It's all about how much space do you have. You know, if I had a lot more room, it'd be another story. Well, with that, that's all I really have to say about this particular subject. If I do have the video, um, pictures, I should say, from the build of this, I will have them linked at the end, as well as some audio um, that I'll capture off my computer with this piece. Thanks for watching.